the Amplicom Ring Flash 200. The Ring Flash 200 is an alerting device designed to give the hard of hearing better awareness of when their telephone is ringing or when they have visitors at the door. The Ring Flash is supplied with one wireless doorbell and then a phone can be plugged into the back along with the power cable. It is supplied with the cables that you need for the phone. Size-wise, it's not a big unit. You can see that it's round about the size of my hand. Four inches high, four inches wide. It is also wall mountable, although the wall attachments are not supplied with the unit. In terms of weight, it's surprisingly lightweight. The Ring Flash 200 is very easy to use once it's installed, but it is important to set up the various connections correctly. As you can see, the doorbell supplied is a fairly standard design and it shouldn't look out of place on most front doors. A 12 volt battery is supplied and this needs to be used in the doorbell itself. You will need to put this in by unscrewing the four screws at the back and then screwing them back into place. When you've got the battery in place to check it, you can press the doorbell and you'll see a red light link up. Once the power has been plugged into the actual unit, you can then test to see that that is working as well. If we move this around so that you can see the various things you can change, there is a volume slider that you just move up and down and then this switch will allow you to choose how you want to be alerted. The Ring Flash 200 has a very bright flashing light. It's an incredibly bright white light. It also has the facility of being connected to a shaker unit, which needs to be purchased as an ex uh, optional accessory. But that can also be plugged into the Ring Flash and alert you via, via vibrations that either the telephone is ringing or the doorbell is ringing. If you don't want the phone to be and the ring of the phone to be amplified, you can switch it to the zero position, but this will still alert you to the doorbell. You can also set it so that it will just have a sound for the doorbell and not a light, or for the light and the sound. If we turn it around to the other side, There are two further switches to be aware of. This one over here indicates the tone that can be chosen for the doorbell. Both of them are fairly typical ding-dongs. Either a low tone ding-dong or a higher one. The phone, you can also choose various melodies to alert you to the phone. The last button to be aware of is the stop button and that simply needs to be pressed to stop the light. Once you've sound. got everything set up, in order to test the unit, you simply press the doorbell. And switch it off if you need to. The range of the wireless doorbell is said to be about 25 meters although this does depend on how many structures are in the way like walls etc in your house between the doorbell and the, the other useful function if you have two locations where a doorbell is required you can purchase an additional doorbell and there is visual indication of which one will be pressed. You do need to change on the bottom of the unit as well as the doorbell to indicate that it is the second doorbell being used and the color indications are either red for the first one or green for the second one. Overall a good quality, robust and reasonably priced product.